What's up everybody, this is Bellfuge Joe 97 here, giving you a new series of videos that I'm going to be at least responding to questions that I've been given to my Facebook group, or in my Facebook in general, and that would be of course the Facebook group being Dawn Island, description below if you want to join, it's really a fantastic place to have your vacation on, <laughs> but anyhow, um, these series of videos that I'm going to be doing will be at least every week, I hope so. Unless something in life happens, um, I'm sick or whatever, then I won't be able to do a video on, you know, every week responding to questions that you give directly to me. And the one question would be for this series of videos called The Response Box, would be from a good friend, uh, Matt, and his question would be, why do you hate the Vita? Now, you know, some people... They ask this question up to this very day, why do I hate the Vita? Why do I hate Sony's second outing in the portable in the portable market? Why do I hate the Vita? Now let me get this out of the way. I do not hate Sony's portable system of the PSP. Just to make it clear, two models. One of them being my brother, doesn't use it anymore, gave it to me. Uses this still for PlayStation 1 games for the memory card and my original PSP model that I got for my birthday and very first game that I played on the VSP was the lighting is fucking right Assassin's Creed Bloodline alongside a bundle of a shitty Tom Hanks movie like Angels of Darkness or Angels and Demons whatever the fuck the horrible movies called and some examples of PSP games that I have a lot of it is Square Enix all of it <laughs> Dissidia Final Fantasy, the lighting. Um, Dissidia 012 Doom Destin, good lord, the lighting. <laughs> um, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, really goddamn good game, and why not include this? <laughs> Final Fantasy, the, the spirits would have been for like $2 from GameStop. Really a, a must steal <laughs> for, you know, a mediocre movie, anyhow. <laughs> um, I'm out, that's out of the way. I do love the PSP, but why do I hit the Vita? Well, I kind of have this love-hate relationship regarding how Sony has handled the Vita throughout the years. So, like, one of them is not giving out any AAA title, saying, I'm not saying this out of my own ass just to hate on a piece of plastic like a Vita. I'm not doing that at all. Sony said this directly to everyone, that they... You know, I've closed out some Vita um, studios they have to make, like, PlayStation Vita titles in the past. And not to mention stating that they're not going to give out any AAA titles from them directly. You know, third parties will give it out. And indies. Just like how the Wii U situation is with third parties, to be honest. And not to mention filled with ports and enchanted versions of old games. That honestly, I wouldn't spend like a hundred plus dollars for. I mean, I'm not knocking out games like Persona 4. I'm not knocking that out of the sense. I'm just being real for all of you who want to at least know. I'm not like if I'm like if I really wanted a system, I wouldn't like ask for one just for an old game with like enchanted features that the old PS2 um, original game didn't have. I just wouldn't. And to be quite honest, I don't really see much of classics regarding the Vita in a sense compared to the PSP. Because with the PSP, it was kind of like this first venture to the portable market, and to Sony's credit, they at least got themselves within the market, like foot share holds compared to what Sega or any of the other competition had when it came to Nintendo. They at least had a share foot even with the Vita being low as hell nowadays, but they still have a foot within the market. Which is goddamn oppressing, which... Goddamn oppressive, I give them that. Goddamn give them that. And... Yeah, and the games that certain people kind of bring up to dispout my arguments of the library being Uncharted, Golden Abyss, Killzone Mercenaries, Tearaway and all the other kinds, which I want to address Tearaway first. Um, actually, it was one of those games that I would really like to play on the Vita. 
Too bad they announced an enchanted version of it coming to the PlayStation 4. So really, save the hundred dollars plus, <laughs> or at least save my mother or whoever wanted to give me as a gift money for something of one game that I could get on the PlayStation 4. <laughs> so congrats to Sony for that. And <clears throat> just get a drink of water. And um, to the games like Uncharted Golden Abyss and Killzone Mercenaries, I, to be quite honest, I really wouldn't like, I wouldn't play Uncharted or Killzone in a small screen with like very limited um, controls. And I'm not saying that the controls on Vita are bad, thumbsticks are good, even if they, even if they're like quite limited compared to what I'm used to, like from PlayStation Control 6. Like here, I can go all over, and Vita kind of feels like, kind of like that. It just kind of feels restricted to me when I, whenever I play a Vita. And yeah, when I think of Uncharted or Killzone or any of those other bigger franchises from Sony, I think to myself, I would rather play them on a big ass HD TV screen with a controller with analogs and you know thumbsticks or whatever. I just can't really see myself playing Killzone in a small screen like that. I just can't. Not to mention, I really do not want to support a system that Sony themselves do not put any support on. I mean, you can't tell me, you can't tell me directly, directly, sorry, you can't tell me directly that them Closing out Vita Studios and them not giving out any AAA titles, them directly, their studios. I'm not saying from third parties like Capcom porting Resident Evil Revelations 2 to it. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about them not giving out their games directly to Vita owners, at least in America and Europe. Japan, Japan is at least a guarantee because that thing is a success. And in the same league as the 3DS and the PlayStation 3 and maybe a little bit of 4, if I can remember it. And, yeah, not to mention the memory sticks, which I still find really atrocious how Sony thought that they, could get away, that they can get away with the same bullshit they did with the PlayStation 2 regarding very little memory for that much of a price... Which even back then was fucking ridiculous, because with PCs back then, you didn't have to pay like $20 plus for like an 8 megabyte memory card. It's just ridiculous. And the same thing applies to like the Vita. Like, why is it like, why is it like 30, like 20 to $30 for like a 20 gigabyte memory card? And even then, like if you're, if you're downloading like so many PlayStation Vita digital games, the thing will fill up real quick. Unless you delete and re-download, which is goddamn annoying as all hell. And compared to the competition with the 3DS, if I really want to take it out, I'll at least show an example. At least in the 3DS case, it comes with an SD card. And even then, as someone who had a 3DS this year in July 4th, I still have the original SD card in here. And I still have a big ass library of games into it. And not to mention, if I wanted a big ass memory um, storage for my 3DS, I can get it for cheap as all hell. I don't have to get it directly from Nintendo. And it's unlike with the Vita, where it's manufactured by Sony, you have very little memory for like that much of a price for it. I just find that fucking atrocious. And not to mention the damage control when it came to people, when I say this, it's like, well, you can get deals out of it like through Amazon. No, it doesn't change the fact of how they completely butcher and try to fuck with the consumers with this kind of asinine way of paying this much for very little memory space. It's fucking horrible. I mean, imagine if they did that with the PS3 and the PS4 where you had to buy hard drives only from Sony, you have this this little uh, memory for the hard drives and they're expensive as all hell. People will ride in the street for that shit. Like, really. I just... I just really don't... I don't know. It's like At least compared to like the 3DS, 
the 3DS has tons of games that I am interested, really want to play. With the Vita, there's like one or two games that come off the top of my head that I would really like to play. And one of those games is going to the PlayStation 4. And the majority of the library, from what I see, are games that I would just rather play on the PS3, the PS4, or to certain titles like from the indies, Wii U, PS4, PS3, or PC. And even with the enchanted versions, I really wouldn't see myself paying 100 plus for a system just to play like some new features out of an old game. I'm sorry, I just don't, I don't, I just don't, I, I'm not in that kind of arrangement for it. But even with um, the kind of criticisms and not having a script for saying this because I'm really thinking off the top of my head, I'm not saying the Vita is a horrible trash console. At least if you try to compare it to the Ouya. <laughs> no, I'm not saying the Vita is bad. The Vita is a great build of quality. Really good build of quality. And to all of you who like it, more power to you. I would really like to have that kind of opinion as well. I just don't see myself really wanting one or at least asking my parents or friends to get me one or me buying it directly unless it was really goddamn cheap. And heck, if I had the option, I would maybe just buy a PlayStation TV. But then that kind of defeats the purpose in playing portable games for a portable system on your television set. But hey, that's kind of an analogy for how Sony's portable games are. They're console games that try to emulate... Well, they're portable games that tries to emulate console games so goddamn much that when they were, <laughs> that when they make another model or like another system that is compatible or at least like a PlayStation Vita but for your TV it kind of makes the point of it being a console system whatever in the palm of your hands that you just slap in directly to your TV with like a PlayStation 3 or a PlayStation 4 controller to be quite frank out of it so, it, the system to me is like quantity over quality. At least to my view regarding memory cards, Sony's asinine bullshit that they done fucked up with the Vita and the library not having much of an interest over me wanting, you know, family members to get it or me getting it directly. Compared to that, I might, I might as well put more money on the 3DS. Or hell, might as well put more money on games for PS3 or the PS4. Just simple like that. So I hope I at least answer um, that question to Matt directly. And maybe not. Well, there's the comment sections for it. So um, I'd like to at least comment for like at least one minute or two regarding um, one question for the whole. Um, from Clark Kett, if I really mispronounce your name, sorry for that. Um, thoughts on upcoming new Nintendo 3DS? Um, I wouldn't see myself really wanting it day one, especially from someone who got like a 3DS early this year, or early in July, but, you know, I'm still a new 3DS owner with not much games too, and just like four retail 3DS games, and, you know, quite a lot of, no, oh, fuck the lighting, um, quite a lot of digital titles, old and new. But, you know, if those, you know, if those exclusives do have my interest then maybe use but I really kind of find that it asinine that they didn't put like an analog stick no an analog stick I'm um, a second um, circle pro um, analog on the 3ds I mean look it had this very much space for them to do compared to it so yeah um, new 3ds intriguing is all hell I would not buy it like day one might wait for years to get it used or something like that. So yeah, um, I hope I did well in this first episode of series of videos of the response box. Um, leave your questions below, and I might answer them like next week or so. This is Battlefield Joe 97 here. See you guys later.